Okay. Well, it's you who told so me. So good luck to you, cunt. Okay. Because coppers know me better than you. Okay. Foreign cunt. Uh huh. You're a foreign fucking cunt. Oh. Okay. Probably a bomber. Oh, right, Theo. You shouldn't even fucking be in our country. You're not even Scottish. Uh huh. Why do you go back to your foreign fucking cunting fucking land? Oh, okay. Parasite. Uh huh. Anything else you want to say, Stinky with Stinky fucking parasite. That's what you are. Anything else you want to say? Yeah, let me out of here before I fucking set fire to your fucking well, car. I'm taking you to the police station. Oh, piss off, you and cunt. Then the police can decide. Well, what good you luck to you. Because the coppers like me, uh -huh. they won't like a fucking parasite like you. Okay. Fucking cunt. Go and fuck yourself. house 11 year old Chris Gaither was home alone Wednesday morning when he heard a noise someone had broken into his house scared Chris grabbed a nine millimeter handgun right, when he's come downstairs and told me he's gonna kill me and F you all that the intruder made it out the front door with a hamper in hand that's when Chris started firing off bullets as the intruder was to jump this fence Chris's 12th and final shot hit the bad guy in the leg I shot through a hamper that he was carrying, and it, went, it was a full metal jacket bullet. Huh. I went straight through the bag and hit him on his leg. Wow. And he started crying like a little baby. A baby that learned his lesson. When I pulled the gun out on him, I guess he didn't think it was a real gun because he, he didn't worry about it. He just kept on walking. The police have not released the name of the suspect, but Chris's mother says this man has robbed their house before. They don't know him personally. Chris credits his stepdad for his shooting skills. Yeah, I play zombies for target practice. Turns out there's more than a basset hound on guard. I hope you learned a lesson from coming to this house trying to steal stuff. Intel. Yo, so I come to my car. I see this letter on my car. I'm parked at my homeboy's crib. And I get this letter, please do not park in front of our home. So I went and knocked on the door and asked why. It's a public street. And she says she owns this parking spot. She owns it. This guy right here is on my property. Because I knocked on the door. Coming and knocking on my door and I causing us problems. I don't know who this guy is, but he needs to leave. And I asked, Can why was she... my property? I'm not, no, I'm not on your property. I'm not on your property. Sure, leave my property. 
property. I'm on the sidewalk. I'm a public. My property. I'm on public property. You need to leave my property. I don't. I can. I, don't, I can stay right here. Okay, that's it. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Because that's the rudest shit I've ever seen in my life. You are the most ridiculous person. You're parked in front of my house. I left a note. Don't park here. What? What? This is a public street. This is a public street. This is a public street. So of course I'm gonna knock on your door. Then I'm gonna put a note on your car. Don't park in front of my house. This is it. This is where is where does it say this is. Property of two eight four five five Hidden Hills, right there. That's your corner. property. That's my property. No, it's not. Yeah. No, it's not. Can okay. you leave? No, it's not. You don't live here, sir. sir. It doesn't matter. I'm visiting. Okay. So do you do this for everyone that comes and visits? No, but there's people who park in front of my house. Continue. It doesn't matter. Can you please matter. leave? No, no, no. This is I'm, I'm I have every right to okay. be right here. You have right to stay there, but you don't have to be a jerk. Uh, okay. You don't. This is a jerk. That's no, no. You know what I'm gonna do? I might just come out here and park every weekend right here. You sure could. You could if you want to be a jerk. Okay. Some rude ass shit. No, 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 bro. You already know that's wrong. No, no. I'm asking you not to park in front of my house. Well, you could ask all day long. Right, and you could say you're not gonna. That's fine. But other than that, film and just. Childish thing no, no, no. This is childish, bro. No, you're being childish. Man. No, 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 no. You... I'm not your bro. You're, you're being childish. 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 I'm not your bro. Like, it don't matter. You can call the police. You can call whatever. I need to call the police. Why, what, what, whatever your wife is doing. My wife is not doing anything except saying, please don't park in front of her house. That's, well. And we're allowed to do that. This is America. And I, I'm allowed to knock on your door and ask why. You sure are? Right. Now you know the reason. So okay. Have a nice day. Okay? Go about your business. Nah, man. You can stand there and film me all day. You just look like a stupid person. No, no, this is yeah. stupid. No, that's not. That's stupid. Asking you to park in front of not parking in front of That's stupid. That's super stupid. No, it's not. Yeah, because you don't own this. No, you're right. You don't own you it. You don't own it either. So I don't own it. You have to sit here and talk crap and I, just go on. I do not here. own it. You don't live here. Don't matter. You'll be visiting. Don't that matter. Make any difference to me. Don't matter. Yeah, it does to me. It okay. matters to me. Okay. <laughs> so I can have my opinion. Well, it matters to me that you wrote this dumbass letter. That doesn't matter. Yeah, go inside. I don't need to go inside. Go inside. Uh, this is my house. I can stand right here. I can stand right here on the grass right next to you if I want to. And I can stand right here. That's right. We can stand here all day and look like a couple of idiots. Or you can just go about your day. And I'm, not gonna, I'm not going to look like no damn idiot. You look like you're an idiot. You look like an idiot because you're filming right now. No, because it's really silly. Because you know. Because you know. Oh, okay. So, oh, okay. Well, then have them come over then. No, that's the case. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, sheriff are on the way. <laughs> Beautiful couple. Beautiful. Hey, what are you doing, bro? Oh, what are you doing? Oh, help! There's, there's a fucking dog. Can I have it? Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. You don't know who dogs, who's dogs are. I'm kidding. Let me fish, boys. No? No fish. We fish? What's here? Fish? No fish. You need bags somewhere with fish? What's this black bag? Fish? What's in this bag here? What's in this bag? Here you go, boys. Look at this crap. Here you go, boys. Fish is off the on the way here now. Here you go, boys. Look at this. Look at this, boys. This fucking job. Look at these cunts, look. Bring in them fucking rods. Get out of the water. Get out of the fucking water! Get out of the water! Dark bastard! Get out of here! Look at this guy, look at that for a fucking minute, look! One, two, three, five guys, and I'm only one! You bastard! You fucking bastard! We have friends coming now, man! Look at this place! What do you think, boys, huh? Fucking murders. You there, Denny? Oh, fish, you're fucking... You're not having no fish. You're not having no fish. You fucking can't eat them. What the fuck is wrong with you? Get in your car, dude. Get in your car! I'm in my car. That's fair,
Can you get in your car? No. Will you call the cop? Yeah. What's going on? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. man, nigga. Yeah, 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 and what? Just don't f the camera. All you have to say don't is. Don't grab nothing. Uh. Oh. Anonymous sent $3 Hiroshima Nagasaki 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 Hiroshima Okay, so are you ready? Is that life? So here's a Karen. She's here from Montreal. I tell her she can't swim here. It's private. And she starts arguing with me that she's got the right to stay here. Like she's got the right. She says it's not right. And, and look at you see why she's still arguing that she's got the right to stay here. Karen. Karen. We said okay, we're leaving. Mom? No, it's her mom. We're leaving. Okay, so you guys well, don't can leave us tell alone. me to stop. Tell her. To no, stop. you guys no, can leave no, us okay, alone. Okay, go, 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 go. Right now, stop your mouth. Stop hey, your mouth hey, and go. Stop your mouth. Stop your mouth and go. You don't want to take the. You don't want to take respect. Come on, come on, Karen. Go. 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 Woman from Montreal. Come on. Yeah, there's more over there too. Where? They're, they're trying to keep them out, my friends. They're like, like they're out of the bed. Yeah, there's white people right there. Yeah. Right there. Yeah. My friends are trying to make them leave and they're like, they're you're supposed to step in. Over there. They kept jumping in. Okay. They're there right now? Yeah, they stood on the bench and stood right near the water. And then... Those people sitting down on the chairs? Yeah. yeah. Who told them? You already went over there to tell them? Yeah, there's. Wait, we have. They went over there. They made them jump. Wait, you hey, went over there to tell those people? Yeah, yeah. Time time to and they're staying there? Actually, not those guys. Whatever. No. They're staying there. Who's those guys? Nobody. They're not from I just watched the animation. Oh, you see
Can you hear her? No. No, let's not pay attention. Look at the French. Fontaine de Cali is the pit of milk. You know where you're at, right? Do you know where you're at? Do you know where you're at? Yeah, you know that's a reserve, right? You know what it's a reserve? Yeah. Okay, what does reserve mean? Do you understand what reserve means? Exactly, so why would you come here? I didn't know anything. Yeah, you knew, you just told me you are going to walk here. You said, I asked you, you know where you are? Yeah, rules. You heard reserve. You know reserve. You explained it to me, so you know the rules. So the rules are. Well, you know what? It's very disrespectful because these kids came and told me that they came here and told you to leave, and you stay sitting here. You're very disrespectful. Oh, listen, don't don't be talking uh, crap to me. Come on. You don't come back here. Oh, come on, come on, no butt. There's no butt here. Okay, well, anyways, you know, you're in Ganawagi, it's a reserve. All right, well, that means like I said, people from like Ganawagi. Sorry if we disturbed yeah, you. Yeah. took the cake, yeah? This is how imposing the white people are. They may not understand it. They, to them, they're just being the way that they usually are. You know, but this is how they impose. And this, the, the woman, as you've seen, see the way she was even swearing right in front of her kids. And then she actually said to me, don't, if you touch anybody here. Imagine that, a white woman coming to Gunnawagi and trespassing, invading in our space and acting like that, conducting themselves like that. This is very disrespectful. It's what we are confronted with on a daily basis. It's not only the, the uh, racism that we experience out there in our land, where the white man is, but it's the invasion of the white man still, even in the posted stamp sized little pieces of land that we're on. Still happening. Anyways, no non natives are allowed here unless they are accompanied by somebody from Gunawagi. It's not that we are uh, unfriendly and we don't like people, 
It's just that we've there's all of so-called Canada and the white people still come to the reserves to invade in our space. This is what's what's so disrespectful that the people are not uh, they're not educated like to know what reserve means. Reservation. What does it mean? They can't figure it out. Go to a restaurant and there's a sign saying reserve. What happens? You can't sit at that table. That means it's reserved. What happened? You forget something? You know these guys? Remember a couple of years ago when there was a few white guys swimming over here? They looked like they were Lebanese or something. And there was a bunch of kids from town. And I went there to kick them out. And there was some blonde kid from Gunawagi who opened his mouth and said, Hey, uh, they're not bothering anybody. And I seen there was a collaboration there. It's like there's something with the young kids, and when they come here, it's like as if they like they maybe they offer them something or something. I like, go oh, maybe give them a few bucks to stay here or something. And then you see like a uh, like that type of uh, relationship or something. But this is what we got to be careful of. You don't know. It's here. Look at all how many kids are here. There's a lot of kids here from town and. Some non-native guys from out of town? Doesn't matter, non-native women from out of town? There's a lot of young men here, a lot of people here. This is not their space. Reservation means you're not allowed there. So all non-native people understand that. Konawagi, it's native. You can come here if you're accompanied with somebody from Konawagi. If not, they're not welcome. Excuse me, these got trash bags? Uh, yeah. This news that uh, Speaker McCarthy has formally launched an impeachment in or has sure. said he's going to. Oh my direct. God, really? Oh my gosh, you know, oh, it's devastating. <laughs> Ooh, don't do it. Please don't do it. Oh no, oh no. Tell me three democratic policies that you support. Inflation Reduction Act, American Rescue Plan, the Infrastructure Law, the PACT Act, the Chips and Science Act. I think it's good that Biden pulled out of Afghanistan. I can go on. No, 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 I get Wow. Okay, would you like to talk about the pullout of Afghanistan? Why did you feel bothered that I just listed policies I think are good? Because... I think it's great that he lowers prescription drug costs. You don't know enough about those policies. So one of them in the Inflation Reduction Act is capping the cost of insulin for Medicare recipients at $35 out of pocket per month. And I think that's really good. I don't think seniors should be having themselves price gouged. And now Medicare will negotiate drug prices. I think that's really good because of Joe Biden and Democrats. I think Joe Biden is an illegitimate president. I think the election was stolen. And I think he's going to be killed for his treason. How about that? Stay away from me. Stay away. You just fucking spit at me, you stupid fucking bitch!